so today we get to paint the peacock, right? Very cool. I don't know how they fly with all these feathers, but we're, we're gonna paint the peacock and do you remember how we've been painting where you try to get two colors just to sit next to each other, but not mix them together and make a new color, right? So let me pull it up closer so you can see the good, the texture. But we paint the, the birdie, the, she's turquoise, right? We paint, but only a small section at a time because it will dry. And then we put this blue on top, right? And then you're like, oh, the turquoise peeks through between the pieces of blue. It's very weird, but when, I, when I'm being all delicate about it, more turquoise shows through. When I get like real blobby and I give permission for the, like the dark blue to happen, it starts to really pop, right? So at first we'll start with the head, you know, but it, and it tends to turn out more turquoise, but as we go, we get more assertive with our blue, right? And then we're gonna put this, um, uh, magenta, right? The party. And I want to show you on the color wheel. Here's that purpley blue, right? But look at where magenta is. They're both secondary colors. That's so that when they blend, it's very cool. Magenta, pur it, which is reddish purple and purpley blue. So they're friends, but we, we don't care that they make a little purple, right? But we, we, you know how we put down a color and then we scratch near it a little bit, but not on it, like next to it. So it makes a little bit of purple, but we need some of the magenta to live. That's the hardest part is to stop touching it. And then these little eyes, easy. They're white teardrops, right? And because the paint around it is wet, they end up turning baby blue easy and then a little green teardrop in the middle but it's really just a green scribble because it's made out of feathers with a little black uh, dot in the middle like it's only a fingerprint big right but we have to be careful with black because it makes everything look gray so we clean our paintbrush real good but we'll start with her face okay so we're gonna get our um to the first thing we're gonna do is do her beak and it's super tiny so we get our orange and this little speck of orange, the only thing it's for is for the beak, right? That's it? Well then make, make a pumpkin out of a rock or something. Don't just throw it away, but we need it. So, uh, cause it's a high contrast, right? Blue against orange is high contrast. So our brain loves it. And look at it. The hardest part is to get it pointy at the tip, right? Cause they have sharp beaks for seeds. So that's the hardest part, is to get it nice and pointy. Fill it, we know it's easy to fill it in, it's outlining. So can we turn our painting upside down? It's just a trick. But if we flip it upside down like this, look how much closer we are. And we can get really like that. This seems far away and my arm is like floating and bouncing. Uh, but when I flip my painting upside down, look how close I can get to it. Right, so flip your painting upside down so it could do the beak. And then and then it's gonna go on orange, but orange is see-through paint. It's mostly gel, you know, with a little bit of orange floating in it. So we need a speck of white to help brighten her up a little bit so she's not see-through, because white's opaque, which means you can't see through it. So we just need some orange, and it really doesn't matter because this paintbrush can only hold so much paint, right? So we just go poke, there. Like that pokes orange. But I worry about getting a nice pointy. So let's just, you know how you could draw a V? Uh, no, not a V, because you go up, stop, down. But instead, can we go a uh, line, then line? That'd be more likely to get it pointy. Because if we go like this and go up and round the corner and come down, isn't that pointy? Let me show you what I mean. So I'm going to just as soft as I can. I touch the tip of her beak and I and pull back and then do not go around. Touch the tip of her beak and go back. That's a point. 
right? So you touch, pull, then touch, pull, not a V, right? And I used to do it super shy. And I'm holding my paintbrush by the metal so I could be tight. So I'm very delicate and little. Hold your paintbrush by the metal. Don't hold it far away like this, Lauren. It will jump around. And well, 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 no, I get, I want control. So I hold it by the metal and I get real constant. And then a backward C. Oh, there, easy. <laughs> Oh, Xander, your uh, microphone came on. And then I'm going to fill in. I just like, like you know, it's easy to fill in once you outline. Remember that? So we just go tap, 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 filled it in. Orange, very boring. Because once you outline something, it's easy. But look at, is that 3D? Is that interesting to look at? No. How about if we get a little bit of white? How tiny can you be? Right? Because we don't want to paint the beak white. We just want it to have a little something, something. So watch, watch how tiny I'm gonna be. Ooh. I bet you can't beat me and be smaller than that. It was tiny. Tinsa, tinsa. And then I, I just drop off the teensy, tiny piece of, of white and I just go whoosh. I drop it off on her beak. But then, I, I just need it in the middle-y part. Just not near the edges. The edges don't need nothing. They could be dark. But just smoosh it around a little bit. Shovey, 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 shovey. There, now she's brighter and she's not so see-through. So the white helps just a ton. But I don't need to do the edges. Sharp, the silver Sharpie is already helping me block out the black. But I do need a little bit of white in there, you know, in the middle-y part. And then we can flip. Okay. Yay, we did it. It's the tiniest thing. No, the eye is the tiniest thing. And then I'm gonna oh, I'm gonna save that. I'm gonna clean my paintbrush. A little paper towel. Pinch it off. Pinch. Weep. Oh! <laughs> okay, don't pull it apart. Dang. Okay, boop. Wait more. Oh, there's still, wait, there's still some coming on. Let me try one more time. Pinch. Hey. Wait, wait, wait. There's still more orange coming on. Let me pinch it one time. Pinch. Oh, that's better. Now it turned to powder. That's what I want. Because that's not going to, because what does orange and blue make? Do you want to see the color wheel? Orange and blue on the direct opposite of the color wheel from each other. Brown. No, oh, thank you. So, just getting more of it out. So, flip your your birdie back. Let her stand up. Her beak is done. Wasn't that easier being closer, flipping it upside down? Smart. Okay. Just because we wanted to be closer to it. Now we can do her face. No, let's do her little, um, what are these things called? I forget. But they actually have like a whole mohawk of them. But we only made three because it tends to look a little busy. Right? And then, remember when we land with our paintbrush? The paintbrush opens a little bit. And she goes, boop. <laughs> and, then, and then you pull down and she just kind of gets small all by herself. Well, we're going to get turquoise. But we go, smash. And look at how big it is. Because she goes, whoop. And then we pull straight down. No scribbles. Because they have this little bulb on the top. So just landing with your little paintbrush, boop, will make the bulb at the top. A little bump. They have a little puff thing on the end. So where's my turquoise? Mm, look at this color. Mm -hmm. One of my faves of all time. I've actually seen water this color. I thought it was all fake like on TV and then I went there and it was real. Okay and I just I'm just gonna get a, a just stab my turquoise because she's a tiny paintbrush and she can only hold so much paint so you don't have to worry. She won't get a glob, even if you stab it. So I just stab the turquoise. Stab! Okay. Like that. See? She can't even hold very much. It's a tiny bit. But then I'm just going to, um, I just land and pull straight down. Because landing goes boop. But I cannot go up and down. That'll make it get bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. 
<laughs> so, and I'll, I'll show, I'll ruin one just so you can see it. But I land, smash, pull, pull. Then I get another stab of turquoise because I want that bulb where it's nice and round. And I go land, pull. Who wants to see me ruin it? Watch. Up, down, up, down. What the? No. It's land. Hey, I got a cactus on his head. The, the, what I make? Okay, let me make, pretend like there's more of them then. <gasps> F. Don't do that. That's ugly. I was trying to show you what not to do. So you go smash, pull, smash, pull. And it's a nice little bead of paint on the end of your paintbrush. This just goes boop. And then whoosh. Then boop. Then whoosh. Instead of scribble, not scribble. It gets bigger and bigger every time you lift it. You go like that. It keeps getting wider and wider and wider. Well, that's one color. That's the most boring thing I ever saw. So let me get my blue. My beautiful purpley blue. Another secondary color. And then I'm just going to put a teeny tiny little string right down the center of them. I'm not painting over them so the turquoise disappears. I just want a little whoosh, a little flick, a little blue in it. So I don't need as much. I don't need to stab my paintbrush, but I just get a little, and it can be dirty because these two colors are so close together on the color wheel, they can't hurt each other. So we just go poke, a little poke. And then I'm gonna decorate them while they're still wet. But I have to do more of them because I made a mess. So I go right down the middle and I don't push as hard on my paintbrush so she doesn't open as big. I just do it real soft, whooshy, swoosh. Oh, I need more already. It came off fast. Okay, another poke. Where'd it go? It fell over. Poke. And then land, swoosh. Land, whoosh. Look, turquoise lived. <gasps> Woo! But I got also, uh, and then does she stay that color, that blue? She actually darkens very dark. You want to see? Let me show you. See it? Then she darkens when she dries. Did you do it? Matthew, what are you doing? Are you playing around? Let's get to painting. Oh, you were just coming in late. I saw you from the corner okay. of my eye on the TV. Dick, never mind. Okay, mute yourself again. Okay, there you go. Okay, now let's do her face. So, you see how I got some of her feathers totally on her head? I don't care because her head goes on top. And I don't want to see that Sharpie. So, I can make her head a little bigger. You know, bye Sharpie. But I just gonna do her face, and I want to protect this little teardrop on her eye. So that means I have to outline her forehead, her chin, and around her eye before I fill it in with turquoise. Who wants to turn theirs upside down? Did you find that easier so you could get closer to it? I found it easier. Okay, so I go, but now I feel like her chin is the most important thing. <laughs> Because it's, okay. So I get turquoise, stab! Okay. And then I just want to outline her. Uh, I'm trying to bring it closer. But I just go, oh, okay. Oh, I have to go around her beak too. <gasps> okay, so I land in her face. Smash, remember this chick? And then sneak up, up, up. <gasps> there, I got the, I'm on the Sharpie. Now I can pull back just to her neck there. Look at uh, my paintbrush on, is all out of paint on that side. I'm going to get another poke. Turquoise. And then now I could do her forehead. But I land in her forehead first. Shmush. Then I sneak up. Up. Uh, uh, okay. Now I'm touching the. Now I can go backwards. Oh, big smile. Okay. Just her neck. Oh, Sharpie. Get, oh, Sharpie showing. Get out of here. Okay, there. So I did her, her chin, her forehead. Now I worry about that eye. Do you see how we don't really have to worry about the beak? Just go touching the edge of the beak will be fine. 
when we cut fill it in. Now I need to go around the eye. Uh, it's a little, I'm scared. Okay, so I'm gonna go on her cheek. I land on her cheek and I go smash. Now I'm gonna sneak down and sneak, sneak, but I don't wanna cover up my Sharpie because I don't remember where it was. I'm gonna go next to it there. Okay, whoa. Okay, Whew. that was hard. Okay. And did you see how what little little tiny touches you do to fill it in? Tiny, 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 tiny. Why? Because they're feathers too. So after I get my outline, outline around the eye, then it's touch, 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 little tiny. Not a stab, not a poke. I'm making little like dashes, like um, like feathers or a little number one, 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 one. Hey Celeste, flip your painting upside down. You'll be closer to the tiny face. Now you can do it. Yeah, yeah. See, and you can go nice and slow and careful because we're closer. Mm -hmm. Okay, now I can flip it over. Oh, wait, no, lie. I forgot to put white on her eye. So I clean my paintbrush. And is it a, a, a tube like this? No, it's like big to little so it's smaller near her beak so this is my recommendation land by her in the back of her eye and pull towards her beak just like when we did the her little crown and we went bloop and then pull so we're gonna go by, by her eye and then pull and she'll get smaller like that so let's see if we can do it so oh but it's pushing up that's tricky so how much white do you think that is I clean my paintbrush and I'm like, oh, probably not a lot, right? So it's gonna touch the white maybe, a little, boom, there, shum. But I didn't stab it, right? I just got shum, okay? And then now I can go like this, but I have to land and, oh, upside down paintbrush. Ugh. But I smash, smash her eye, nice and big, and then pull towards her beak, there. So it's like a, a ice cream cone. No, that's not an ice cream cone. Hmm. Teardrop. She like the spots on her. And then I can clean my paintbrush off. Who thinks that was hard? That was hard. It was very teensy. But once we get past teensy face, the whole thing goes way faster. It's just hard because she's so tiny. All the pieces are tiny, this head. Because you know this bird is humongous. All feathers, right? To get the whole bird to fit on a painting means her head would be really little. Okay, now I'm going to flip it over. Mostly because I want to put all the, the blue feathers on now, on top of the turquoise. But they have to go backwards, like dash, 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 and down her head. And then face, face, push down. Oh, oh, yeah, because it's like I'm combing her hair. But should I scribble it in like this? No, that'll make another version of blue. I just want to put ton of, ton of little dashes of, of blue feathers on my turquoise. Turquoise is going to live, but we just want little ton of pieces of blue. Okay, so let me see, where's that blue? So I don't need to stab it, I just get some, right? We'll stab our paintbrush when we get into the body and we need lots of paint, but maybe just some this time, like some, just some on the end. Not a teeny tiny speck, just a little bit, some, some, right? And then now I get to decorate it. So I'm going to go across her forehead like this and go dash, 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 like I'm combing her hair. Oh, like that. It's kind of like an arch, but it's made out of dashes. These are feathers. Right? So, okay, let me see. Okay, don't touch the beak. Okay. But watch me. I go dash, 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 dash. <gasps> okay, wait. Another row underneath that. Dash, 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 dash. So, I have turquoise pieces. Oh, I need more paint. I ran out. It turned invisible. I need another poke blue. Okay, now I'm under her eye. Oh, well, then it's going, I'm brushing her neck like this. 
So I go under her eye and I go dash, dash, dash. Oh, that's a poke. I meant to do a, a little teeny tiny straight line. Let me scratch it one more time. There. Flick, flick. There, that was better. Better texture. Flick, flick, flick. Scratch, 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 scratch. Done. Okay. What if I touch it more? What will I get? Blue. I'll just paint over the turquoise with blue. That's not what I want. I want little pieces of blue with turquoise peeking out from underneath. So I can't scribble because that'll just mix them together. So I'm going tap, tap. Oh, I can't say tap because you'll think it's a poke. It's more like a dash, little tiny dash. Who feels that like they did a good job with texture? Do you know why? Because of all the other paintings we did about texture that we're not trying to mix colors. We actually like the texture of one color sitting next to another color. Shree! Who wants to give him an eyeball? Nah. But look how tiny it is. Because is it a little tiny? It's actually my stick, right? Not the, not the poofy part of the paintbrush, too big, but my stick could do it with a little black dot, a little black book in the eye. See, I didn't put the white in this beak. You see that? Look, you can see the black show through. So I fixed it for our painting. But I just need a little black dot. Let me see. Where's my black? What? I didn't get myself black? Did you guys get black? What the heck? Okay, we're making blue centers then. It still looks just as dark. We'll just put it extra, extra thick and put a schmear and it'll just be a blue dot. I'll show you so you don't worry. But look at the blue. It's very beautiful on top, right? So it still looks good. Okay, so we'll just use a blue dot for her eye. So we just get like this and we go poke with the blue. And then should I stir it in? No, it's just a dot in the middle of her mask. And let's go and cute. <gasps> Look how blue it's drying under her eye. It's so different than the top of her forehead. Huh. I'm going to leave it because that's 3D. Dark pieces, medium pieces, light pieces. I'm not going to go back and touch it. But I am amazed as it starts to dry right away. It's getting darker under her eye. Okay. Whatever. Okay. Now I can clean my paintbrush. Or the stick because it will start getting on, my, on me if I don't clean it. Question. What? Blue, we don't have black, so we're just gonna make our dots blue like this. Nice and thick, and then be pretty blue. No, oh, I can use my finger. No, it wipes it off, you can't use your finger. Okay, your finger's like a sponge sometimes. Okay, who's ready for more? Oh no, I see Celeste is still working. Did you put your eye on there, Celeste? And you're putting your feathers? Okay, then flip it over. Okay, now look at it. Okay, now that we've done the face, oh, it's a neck and maybe some body, right? We'll go to like halfway of the body. Oh, turquoise with blue pieces on it. Easy as if, oh please, we already did it on a teensy tiny head and we, we mastered it. So doing some of the bot easy. And then look at my feathers got a teeny bit bigger. But look at how many times I touched it right here on her neck. I, I think it became the same color. I like it better when I have actual turquoise pieces showing and blue pieces without mixing them together. We'll see. We'll see how it comes out. But let's outline her neck just to like her shoulders. Okay. So we get, I just clean my paintbrush pitch and get, and now we can stab our paintbrush because this is going to be way, hey, Matthew, look at you go. Now I'm gonna get my turquoise stab. How come? Cause now I just wanna cover up stuff. So I get lots of paint. Stab, so thick. And now I would just like to get rid of the Sharpie. So just like I land in her body, smash, sneak up until one hair covers up the Sharpie and then put 
push down to her shoulders. There. And then stop. Because remember how fast this paint dries? We'll do the tummy separate. Okay, now I can get, I'm going to stab my turquoise and get more. Stop it! So I can, now I have to land in her neck. Oh, it's tricky. Smash. And then push up, up, up. Okay, I'm touching the Sharpie. Now I can push. Okay, nice smooth line. All right. Just to about, uh, just to her shoulders. Like she's wearing a shawl. Both sides. Lauren, you could turn yours over unless you feel like is this is being successful for you. Are you like doing it upside down? Okay. See how much closer it makes it? It's good. Hey, Matthew, don't forget to mix turquoise and blue together. It's scratches of both. Look, I painted turquoise. And then I put blue on it. Or if you put blue, put little pieces of turquoise on it. So you have both. They're feathers. Oh, 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 they're little scratches of blue and turquoise. Okay, and then I'm going to fill it in with, and, and I was showing Matthew, but that made me rush ahead. I was worried he's going to go too fast. But now we paint the whole, and how easy it is to paint once you outline something. Now just paint the whole thing turquoise like we don't care. Smushy, 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 smushy. Because when do we really decorate? When we put the blue on it. Once you have a good outline, super easy. Right? Then we just fill it in. Because once you outline it, you rarely ever go outside the lines because we have a human brain. Candace, bring your painting close to you. Go like this. Candace, look. Uh, pull it closer. It looks really far away from you. Can you pull your painting closer to you? Just a little teeny bit. You're reaching really far. I want you to be comfortable. Okay, no? Okay. Okay, and then after it's turquoise, is it going to stay turquoise? No. It's actually blue with turquoise peeking out and I want look at the pretty highlight I let turquoise live oh and sometimes a dark piece of blue just sits there fine I want both so I I just and dirty paintbrush doesn't matter I just stab my blue and now I'm going to drop off little ton of dashes dash 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 I don't have to go in straight lines or anything. They're feathers. So I go down, 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 down. And I'm not covering up all the turquoise. I'm putting blue texture on top. Fleek, 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 fleek. And should I go back and touch it more than once? No. It just smushes the colors together. And we just want them to sit next to each other. Comf you know, be comfy. No smushing. They're resting next to each other. And I got, look at how much different the wet paint looks from that dry face. It totally changes. What a trip. There, oh wait, fix her head. <gasps> I, did, I flattened her head off. Let me round off her head. What'd I do? Okay, let me round off her head. <gasps> oh my God. I made a squarish top on her head. Now I have to put feathered blue feathers on it. Blue, 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 blue. Okay. So do you have turquoise pieces, blue pieces, and pieces where they mix together? Right? And the mixing together is usually an accident because they touch. Right? We don't care. But my turquoise is showing and my blue is showing. No scribbles. No scrib and scribbling would be the wrong texture. So these are little pieces of feathers. Didn't we do owl together? Remember when we made the owl feathers? Did we do owl together? Did we do that where the brown and the white made little flicks of each other? I don't know. But it's the same. So I clean my paintbrush. Pitch. Because I had a ton of blue still on mine. And now I want to get turquoise. Now I can do her body down to her tail. So what? And it does not have to be a straight line or anything. It's feathers, so it can be all rough, right? So, but it is to about the very first eye, okay? So I go, 
All right, how do we outline it? We stab our turquoise and then we just go, okay, bye Sharpie. And I land inside her body, smush. And then I sneak up, 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 there, okay. And now, okay, push my paint right there. Cause I want a smooth line, so I don't scribble an outline. Just push the paint and it makes it that bead of paint squishes out. Hey, notice how I didn't describe that to you? I'm watching you guys paint and I'm just like, they already know this. I don't even need to tell them. You guys know how to outline with paint so good already. You don't even like, what? And then I stab my turquoise because I want a lot so I can make a long line. And now I got to do the bottom half, but I smash inside her body and my paintbrush opens. And I could push down. No scribblies and wigglies. I just push. Oh, my Sharpie's still showing. I have to draw it again. Let me try one more time. Smash, smash. Okay, I did it. I don't want to see that silver Sharpie. Good job. Matthew, are you adding turquoise to your blue? A little tiny bit of turquoise? I worry that that blue is gonna- yeah, I'm gonna put a little bit right now. Put turquoise, yeah, cause blue by herself dries kind of dark on a black canvas. She just needs a little help. He's doing his backwards. He put blue on and then he's gonna put turquoise upside down. But it, fine for him. Okay, now I'm gonna fill it in so I stab my turquoise and I just go, uh, does it really matter how you fill in the turquoise? No, because we decorate with the blue. Oh no, go like this. Like when you put the turquoise on, you float on top, dash, 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 little pieces of feathers of blue. Don't scribble it in. Dash, 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 float the, per the turquoise on top, okay? But the rest of us are just going to now, because you beat us, the rest of us are just going to paint ours all turquoisey. Cause it doesn't really matter. We just want to block out the black. Cause when does the actual decorating happen? When we put the beautiful blue on for texture and to get the illusion of feather pieces. And then, and Matthew, which way do do feathers go? They go down, 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 like little number ones. Okay, no scribbles. Okay. Okay, now it's turquoise. So boring. Nobody loves turquoise by yourself. It's just like sitting there. So we can decorate it now. So now I'm gonna get blue and I just stab the blue stab. And I and I can go I can touch her neck too. They're all the same colors. They can't hurt each other. I can touch her neck. So now I just go dash, dash, dash. Look, look, Matthew. See, sometimes I have a lot of blue on my paintbrush and sometimes I have none. So you're going to have a lot of turquoise on your paintbrush and sometimes your paintbrush runs out of turquoise. That makes it very soft. So sometimes it's thick when you first get your paint. And then as your paintbrush begins to run out of paint, it becomes lighter all by itself. But I'm putting little ones. I actually say one, one, one to myself because feathers point down. You know how they take their beak and smooth all their feathers flat? So they're all going in the same direction. But don't make a row, right? You just go dash, 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 and turquoise allowed to live. I do not need to cover up all the turquoise. And Matthew, you don't have to cover up all the blue. You just kind of let it run out of paint and it gets softer and softer and more invisible. And then we get more. So then we get dark areas, medium areas, light areas. I feel like I jumped right into this painting and didn't have to explain a lot because I know you guys have done this lots of times. So you guys look how much of the skills you're applying, and I'm not describing it very much. You're just like, you already knew. You knew. How come? Because how do we learn on this planet? By doing. So there's your skill set. You already did stuff. So you're just like, oh, like this. Uh-huh. Exactly. There is no other, yep. 
That's why teachers, when they first start off, and they're like, ah, and the first three years, they feel like they're going insane because everything is brand new. Oh, you're echoing, huh, Matthew? You want to know what color the eyes are? The, oh, sorry. These are called eyes. These are called eyes on a, on a, um, on a peacock. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it's white with a green and then a blue center. But I can still see silver Sharpie. Can you get rid of the edges a little bit? So I can't see the blue Sharpie. Okay. Who did the tummy? Who got little pieces of turquoise and little pieces of blue? And you didn't scribble them together? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, now we gotta do, we can only do this much of her tail. And then we have to pause and do her eyes while, they're st while the tail's still wet. So Matthew is painting all of his tail, right? But he's painting really fast. So he actually doesn't have to worry because if you paint fast, it won't dry. But we're just gonna paint to like right here and then decorate the eyes and then paint to right here and then decorate the, like in chunks, right? So we can't do the whole thing because it will dry too fast and you'll be mad. Okay, so I get the, and my paintbrush is dirty and I don't care. So I stab my turquoise and I go, okay, I have to go around. These are, I keep saying eyes, but they are called eyes on peacocks. So don't get confused. But um, I go, have to go around them without erasing them. So I go above them and below them and try to keep the sum of the silver, which is kind of opposite how we've been doing it. Otherwise I'll forget where they're at. You know what I mean? So I go, I go uh, below them. I'm underneath the silver and then I, okay, there, all right. I would like, if the silver lives, I'll remit, I'll see the shape. If I cover up the silver, a tiny little sliver of black is left and I get very frustrated. And I'm like, wait, what? Okay, now I can do these ones. So I'm above the, the little um, the little thing and I go, I go, whoops. Let me check. And I go, oh, oh, above it. Around the corner. Whew. Oh, that's my trick. I forgot. Everybody pause and look up. I forgot. I don't draw it in. I draw it in two pieces. I forgot to tell you this. Watch. I go under it, and once I go under it, I stop and go back up to the front and pull it down. It's the beak, right? I would like the tops to be pointy, so I pull and go un pull and go under, and then pull and go under. But if I go around the top, it's an egg. Does that make sense? So I have to go pull under, then pull. So I'm making the beaky top, well, it's pointy top. So I start, pull, start, pull. There, now the tip will stay pointy. There. And then once I have the owl's eyes outlined, now I can do the sides, I know. Bye, Sharpie. And we don't have to care as much and stuff, whoosh. Okay. I'm watching you guys paint. My eye gets to jump around to all your paintings. It's so cute. And once I outline my eyes and the sides, now I just scribble it all, all the the fit all the rest of the feathers are turquoise. So I just go, okay, but not the eyes. <laughs> because when do I actually decorate it? putting the pretty little blue dashes on it. So I'm just going blah, 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 blah. Okay, there. But look, I can see my eyes better because my silver's still showing. Oh, ooh, black is showing. Get out of here. What? I didn't do a good job. I was looking at it in the camera and really I missed a spot. Get it? Okay, better. 
Now I can decorate that with the little blue dashes. And everybody pause and look up. Is the tummy attached to the tail? Yes. So don't be afraid. Don't make this a line right here. No. You just jump around and put blue and turquoise. You know, there's not a perfect line right here. It's an illusion. So when I go to get my blue, I can, the blue can go up into the body and down in the tail. There's not, there's, don't protect that line. Uh uh. Jump. Oh, bye. Like that. And now I'm going to decorate, 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 dash, 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 dash. Oh, need more paint. You can see that I touched it too many times right there. It just turned baby blue. How am I fix that? Ah! I didn't want to touch it that many times. Because who noticed it turns baby blue if you touch it too much or scribble? I know. I know. And I'm trying to do little dashes with the tip of my paintbrush so it scratches a little. And there's my per my turquoise pieces and my blue pieces and I scratch with the tip of my paintbrush scratch 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 oop ran out of blue 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 and I give it permission to have dark blue pieces and mostly turquoisey pieces who likes the texture of this one Look how good you are and how much, look how much you trust yourself. No scribbling like when you're babies and you were just going, wah, 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 wah. nobody's doing that. Nobody. Very delicate with your paints. Okay, give me one second, Matthew. Every, let, let me have a few people, more people catch up so I can show the eye. I just need about two. Hold on, Matthew. Matthew, I need two more minutes. Have some, have a little patience and let some people catch up with you, Speedy Gonzalez. I just need two Matthew, minutes. Let's, let's talk, go ahead and not rush your head. That's one of the rules when we do paint. Do not rush your head. Just give me a minute, Matthew. I'm going to have your mom confiscate your brushes. So I know, right? Stop. <laughs> It looks beautiful though, Matthew, but I just, I just, I know you're just bored because you're going fast. Okay, who's ready to see an eye? So everybody pause, even if you're busy, and just let me show you one eye, okay? And I'll do a big eye because the little eye is just miniature, so this will be easier to see. But I just get a ton, I just get a one poke of white, white. And then I outline it, and you know this paint around it is wet. So what's going to happen to my white? It's going to turn baby blue. Watch. Whoosh. Whoosh. Oh, it's baby blue. And then fill it in. Oh, oh, you mean it turned baby turquoise a little bit because, and my paintbrush is a little dirty. So I made a little softer. It just happened, right? Let me show you all of them then. And I get, uh, how much paint did I get? Did I stab my paint? I don't know. I just need a little bit, a little bit. And I just go and teardrop and then scribble his heart, scribble in his tummy. And then a speck of, I keep getting too much white. It's annoying me. Okay. Cause these are so little, little tiny hot outline and then scribble the middle. And then we're gonna, oh, I didn't outline it. Okay. rear, And then scribble her tummy. Okay, Matthew, now here's your next part. Okay, everybody pause and keep watching me. Watch me. Everybody watch. Okay, now I'm going to get green. Oh, we haven't opened her yet. Look how little green there is because just for spots. But, okay, watch. Now I'm going to get green. Stab. And um, I de the green does not touch the edges. She's in the belly. But who's even smaller? The blue's going to go in the middle. So, it's near the edges, but it becomes baby green because I painted it white. Watch. A little, a little a green. Oh, it's like the yolk of an egg. But look at, I can make it bigger, 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 bigger. I just can't touch the edges is the rule. Right? Scribble, 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 scribble. Okay. Scribble, 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 scribble. Oh, I almost touched the edges. 
It could be as big as I want it to be as long as it's not touching the edges. And stab my green. Sorry, you were muted for a second. Um, after the white, we add the green. I was muted. Let me. Ch oh, oh, okay. I must have skipped. Oh, it's a white outline, and then we scribble it in white so that it's a white teardrop. And then I get green, and I can scribble in the green as big as I want it, but I just can't touch the sides. So I go smush, smush, and then sneak up to the sides, but don't touch it. Blah, blah, blah. Because she has to have a little a little outline because it makes her brighter. And we're gonna, not going to put the blue center in the middle yet because um, what does green and blue make? Turquoise. We already have turquoise. We do not need more turquoise. So if we wait till the end, green will be dry. You know what I mean? Then we put the blue in the middle then it would be a blue blob on a dry green. If we do it now, green is wet and it'll just make turquoise. That is the most boringest thing ever. We already have turquoise, okay? So I just did white and green. Now I'm moving on. Now I can get my turquoise into the next set, but only like to here-ish, right? Another, but a big set, big, you know, cause it's faster as we go. So now I can stab my turquoise and go, all right, um, here, I guess. Bye, Sharpie. I don't want to look at any Sharpie. And then, meh. No, look at, look at how I didn't have enough paint on my paintbrush. It made a really rough, ugly edge. More paint. Now let me smooth it. The thick paint makes a smooth edge. Oh, that's what I did wrong. And then is it pure white in the in the eyes? No, it's got a little bit of because the you're gonna act you're gonna scoop in some of the edges and it softens your white a little bit. It doesn't have to be <gasps> pure white. It's just a little and your paintbrush is a little dirty, so it's just the the f other paints being nearby kind of get swirled into your white, and we don't mind. It helps the white calm down. Okay. So don't, like, oh my God, it has to be pure white. Let me keep fixing it. No, it doesn't. Okay, now I can outline, like, how about three eyes? I just do three eyes. Because I don't want to go too far. And I just outline them. Whee! Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, I forgot. So I touch the top and fall down. And then get more paint and touch the top and fall down. Who remembers that? For a pointy top? Watch me ruin it. I'll show you why. Let me go around it. If I go around it and just turn the corner, what do I get? An egg shaped. Aww. No, I have pointy. So I can start at the top and pull down and the top and pull down. That's how we make the beak pointy. And that's how we make our eyes pointy. And they're called eyes. I know I confused Matthew calling them eyes. He's like, no, I'm not trying to paint the eyes. I'm trying to paint these feather things. Has anyone got to see a a, 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 um, a peacock in real life? They're amazing, amazing, humongous. They can barely fly because their tail is so heavy. I don't see how predators who eat birds aren't able to catch them because they're full of feathers. How did they even, I don't know. Okay, now that I outlined the sides and my eyes, couldn't I just fill in the rest with the turquoise so I could put my blue dashes? Yeah. Stab. And now I could just scribble. La, 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 la. Bye, black. <laughs> oh, not enough paint. It was all see-through. More paint. Well, see how dry I'm letting my paintbrush get? Why? Why bother? It just is invisible. <laughs> For all this time painting, I, I can even hear it scratch. And I'm going, come on, paint. Come out of my paintbrush. Just get more. <laughs> I love it, me. Okay. And that's why when I, I, I didn't clean my paintbrush, I have turquoise on my paintbrush. But I just go get blue. 
because they can't hurt each other, huh? Who's noticed any ugly color happen between blue and turquoise? No, they're right next to each other on the color wheel. They will, they will just make pretty. So now I get blue. Oh. And I could, and can I let some of this blue visit the other world I already painted? Yes. Beep, 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 beep. Dash, 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 dash. Oh, need more. Dash, dash, dash. It doesn't last very long. Oh, I painted that solid blue. Darn. I can tell why I'm heavy handed and I smash my paintbrush and it opens too big and I wasn't using the tip and I'm like, that's the wrong texture. I can tell because it made a big blob of blue and I, mm, I wasn't doing it soft enough with just the tip of my, who can barely feel their paintbrush touch the canvas? It's so delicate when you put the blue on, you're just like, dash, 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 so press off. And Matthew, can I show you the painting a little bit more? Watch. Here's Matthew. Here the tur the the perp the magenta goes like this. Here, then a hand space, then here, then a hand space, then here, then a hand space. They're hand space away. The little pieces of tur of yeah. magenta. Okay. But look at it, it makes a little bit of purple when it mixes in with the blue. Just saying. Oh yeah, that reminds me. We all have to do a little bit of magenta in the neck before we do move on to the eyes. When I look in one camera, it's like all blurry or it, the colors blend together a lot. And the other camera, they're really like iridescent and bright. I like the bright one better, but it's certainly not real life. Look how delicate I'm being. Just the tip of my paintbrush. Okay, everybody pause. Everybody pause. Even if you're busy, I want to show you the magenta. You ready? Okay, so watch. Oh, oh, a little bit of magenta. And then with my dirty little magenta paintbrush, I let it visit the blue a little bit and make... Some, just a little bit of purple, okay? So with your dirty paintbrush, how come? Because it will make purple and we love it. So I'm gonna get magenta. Everybody pause, even if you're busy. Just watch me do it, because I can only show it once, because I only have one painting. So I get my magenta and I step. And I didn't clean my paintbrush, because it's gonna make uh, purple. And I just go, okay. You know why there's no eyes right here? In this little empty space? called negative space because I'm going to put a whoosh. What did I just do? I dropped right. But should I leave that? I, I'm not going to leave it there, but maybe go around with what's left on my paintbrush. I'm going to make little dashes around her and they will make super, don't get more. I'm trying to run out of magenta and it's getting softer as it, my paintbrush runs out of magenta. I, and I, oh, it makes little baby purple ones. And I go farther away and farther away. Oh, look at the purple pieces. So there's a big blob. That's where I landed, right? But then the little bit of magenta on my paintbrush, I go visiting. You can have some purple and you can have some purple. And then I ran out and then I have to stop. That's all I'm allowed. Well, if I have a little magenta there, well, the other side is jealous. But I'm not going to go directly across. I'm going to go slightly lower. So I stab my magenta and I go, whoosh. <gasps> but it looks like a mistake. But it's not, watch. Okay, I'm going to leave that there. But there's still magenta on my paintbrush. So I walk around her. And I never, I just, oh, 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 look it. It mixes with blue. It makes a little purple. And no matter how far away I go, it gets softer. The magenta gets softer and purplier and purplier and invisibly invisible, invisible purple. That's the best part. Making a new color is best. And you have to do it while this blue and turquoise are wet, right? So you don't move on. That's why I didn't do my little eyes yet because I worried that you, we need to do our, our magenta. That's pretty, right? 
that because magenta and that purpley blue are both secondary colors right next to each other. That's why your brain goes, what? They look so good next to each other. So who wants to see me do that again, right? I put the whoosh of the turquoise, and I mean, the magenta, and then I walk around with it with little tiny baby touches. And I let her run out of paint until she's all, I just keep walking away from it, disappearing, invisible touches. I let the original swoosh live, but then I just go walking around her, kind of touch her edges a little bit, kind of ruin it so it's not so perfect. Okay, now I can do my eyes. But there's some magenta in my paintbrush. My, um, the peacock eyes don't have magenta, so I have to clean my paintbrush. Now I can get white poke and outline them and hopefully the outline's still wet because I'll pick up some of the turquoise and the blue from right there and I just go whoosh, whoosh, whoosh and then scribble it in. Just trying to block out. Oh, I ruined the tip. The top was supposed to be pointy there. Oh, that one came out perfectly, perfect white. Oh, well, the green will ruin it. I wanted it a little more dirty, dirty white. There. Not perfect white. And then are, do my edges have to be perfectly smooth? Uh, no, it's made out of feathers, so it can be rough. And then what goes in the middle of them? Green. Where am I green at? <gasps> Stab! And then... It, I just land in the middle and I just keep scooching out towards the edges without touching the edges. The edges like being white. So I just go, hmm, okay, you can, you, there you are green, a little green. Looks like an avocado. But I'm not putting the blue dot in the middle because I need green to dry. So the blue will be nice and bright. I touched the edge right there. I didn't mean to do that. Now I can clean my paintbrush. Who's the beating me? Because you already know what to do. Boom. All right then. And then I go, and then I can go another row lower. And do three more. Yeah. So I get the, but I'll have to put the, the magenta on it before I do the eyes again, right? So I stab my, my, my turquoise, and I, I think I'll just get rid of the uh, sides. Whoosh! Okay. And then whoosh. I'm thinking of these three. Right here. And now I don't have to worry about the edges. They're so big that... Oh no, I covered up the silver. It won't matter. These, I was afraid. When I was way up here doing the tiny ones, I was afraid I wouldn't be able to tell where they go at. Right? So now I'm like, ah, just outline them. Whee! Oh, they're so big. One poke doesn't even cover the whole thing. I need two pokes. Two pokes of turquoise. Whee! Like that. Do you guys make sound effects when you're painting? No? I do it because it reminds me more of play. I, want, I don't want to have a, a freaked out mind that's like, oh, I'm going to ruin it. I'm trying to be, I tell my brain, this is supposed to be fun. You know, we play time. Okay, now I'm gonna fill that in the tur uh, turquoise step. Little scribbles. Before I put my blue on. Now that we've done it one, two, three, four times, how easy is this? Pinch repeat, pinch repeat. 
So we are going to have to put magenta on this bluish. Uh, who liked making the purple with the magenta? That was, right? I know. Making a new color out of two colors is my favorite. And then having to tell my hand to stop decorating. It's like a little personal victory. Because I'm like, oh, I did a stop. I like it. Don't do any more. And then you're right. But you, how long does it take you to get confidence to stop painting and call it done? We've been painting a few times. So you're like, oh yeah, yeah. Uh, eventually I get to the point where I'm like, okay, I'm good. I don't need to scribble that anymore. I like it. It's good. Okay, now I have to put my little blues. Who's beating me right now? I know Matthew beat me by a million. Luke, Luke's beating me. Yeah, oh, me and Brandon are even. Me and Sergio even, yeah. I can see you. Lauren going good. Okay, now I get my blue and I can decorate. But I always try to connect what I did last time with what I'm doing this time. I don't want to see no weird line. So I visit, visit up there. It doesn't hurt it to put a second coat up there, you know. We're just putting little scratches, little gentle, gentle, kind of soft. And because it's getting bigger, I'm so tempted to paint faster, but I'll lose my texture. I have to keep doing it tiny, even though I'm ready to go boom, boom, boom. I want the little tiny feather texture. And I want to see the, the turquoise and blue stripes, you know? If I, if I go faster, I'm just painting over the turquoise blue and then, and then it's like, no, not as cute. Not, not as cute. It's cute. The texture is cuter than the, even the colors. Cause I'm fooling people by going, no, this is really a bird. Can't you see? Which is one of the weirdest things in very low light, like in the morning, super morning time or in the evening time when it's almost dark right everything looks weird because you can't see texture so you start reaching for things because you need to feel them to make sure you're right but it's just because your brain can't make out any tech is that the couch and then you touch it yeah and you're like you can't see the textures or colors in low light so your brain's like i can't compute because what we love is texture What's the most interesting thing about carpet? I mean, mm, not carpet. I was thinking of shag carpet. Of a grass. Beautifully cut grass is the texture. You're like, you can stare at it. And you're like, hmm, that's cool. And I also saw uh, so, um, wildflowers down by the river. You know what I noticed? that they spread themselves out evenly from each other, and that some are this high, some are medium high, and some are, are big. Just like when we're painting and we go small, big, little, little, small, big, little, little. I was like, I say that when I'm painting so that everybody's their own height, and the plants do it all natural. How do they know that? Like, no, like this plant is this high, and this, this flower is this high. Okay, it's time to do turquoise, my magenta. So if you're not ready, can you watch me do it at least? Okay, you ready? So everybody pause what you're doing so you can watch what I'm doing. Okay, let's look at it. Oh, it's like a zigzag pattern. It's up here in the corner, then here, which means then the next one must be in the middle and then down here, zigga, zaga. Bing, 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 like that. Okay, so I clean my paintbrush because it's blue on there and I want to get turquoise. Stab my turquoise. Okay, so it would be kind of in the middley part because the middley part didn't get anything yet. Right, and then another stab. And then maybe down here. So I'm going zigzag. So if it's here, this one would be slightly lower and then this one would be slight. so they nobody lines up with each other. You know what I mean? So they're not, directly across from each other because that'll look like a weird pattern. Now that I have my schmooshes, 
Now I can go pick it up, drop it off, pick it up, drop it off. Oh, until I run out and I go farther away from her and I'm making those little purple pieces. And I'm trying to run out of magenta until it turns purpley, purpley. That's my favorite. When I run out of magenta on my paintbrush and it's almost like dropping off invisible magenta, it's the prettiest color. So it starts off magenta, boring. And then as I go farther away, I'm like, oh, look at the little, that is a, that is a butterfly color. I bet there's a butterfly, this invisible magenta color. Invisible magenta and blue. Or maybe one of those tropical birds. That's what I'm thinking. Did I do my, I think I did my spots the same size. Look, look at my, I don't like it. I'm looking at mine, look at three fingers big, three fingers big, three, they match. They, that, that's not, no. Look at the other one, it's way prettier. It's way more wild and they, they touch each, they visit each other. I need to scratch at these and make them longer. Look at this, and they're not even near each other. Okay, whoosh, okay, okay. I'm, I'm going to be a little more wild. Pew, 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 pew. Okay, that is, that is better. It was too perfect. And like the magentas were afraid of each other. Now I'm going, okay, a little wilder. All right. I was a little too making little boxes of them. And now I just go, pew, 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 pew. I'm jumping around with my magenta. Okay. Now they visit each other a little bit. So they're not so scared of each other. That's a little better. Look at that one's a different color. Magenta. Or I think the turquoise was a brighter turquoise that time. It's the paint company. Okay, so I clean out my paintbrush. Because it's got magenta in it. And there's no magenta in my eyes. So pinch. And then uh, I and if I get some of the color from my background into my eyes, it makes a softer color. So I don't care if I if I paint right on top because I'm gonna pick up. Oh, look at it! Picks up the the picks up the outside color, and I like it. Oh, it grabs it and it puts some blue and turquoise in it, and I like it. I like it very much. Oh, this one's pure dry already. Oh, these are dry. Mine are coming out pure white. What if I put a little bit of turquoise in it? Could I calm it down a little bit? What do you think? Cause I'm, I, I think it's too, too bright. I want to make a little, let me see. I'm going to get a ton, a ton, a ton of bit of turquoise and put it in their tummies and see if I can't make it just a little, there. It's just like a dirty paintbrush worth. There. Now, oh, she is softer. Okay. I just wanted a little something, something in there so she's not so, you know. Okay, now I can clean my papers and get green. How big can my green spot be? I don't know. As big as you want it. It's like an egg yolk. Hello. Oh, everybody pause. I forgot to say this. I am using the side of my paintbrush to put on my green. I'm going to show you the difference. This is, I'm smearing it on with the side of my paintbrush, right? It makes the edges ratty, but it's kind of cute because it is made out of feathers. But watch me use the tip of my paintbrush. It scratches the paint off and pushes the paint too hard together like that. So I'm using the side and like peanut butter it in. Side of my, I forgot to say that out loud. The side of my paintbrush and then blah, 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 blah. And the side of my paintbrush. Better. Ew, I just stuck my finger in the dirty onion your napkin. That one just slimed me. I'm gonna get a new one. For someone who has paint on their hands all the time, it still feels weird when you stick your hand in wet paint. <laughs> Blue! Who's beating me? You are just going. You just go then. If you already know what to do, you just go. You don't need me. Okay, now I'm gonna get turquoise because we did it like five times. So I'm gonna outline, I'm gonna outline the rest of it. Oh, I have to stop and get paint a lot. This is far. 
Whoa, more paint. Because the paintbrush can only hold so much, huh? Whatever. But it's way more easier. I trust myself. And then I get the, I'm going to go around my, the little the peacock eyes and go around. And I'm still trying to have a pointy top. It's not an egg. Oh, it reminds me of a leaf, too. Nature repeats the same shapes all the time. Okay, there. I see that most of you are way past me already. You're so good. Look how much you trust yourself. Okay, perfect. And then I'm going to fill it in. My little scribbles. Squibbly, squibbly. Get it all turquoisey so I can decorate with my blue. And it really doesn't matter how we put the turquoise on, huh? Because all the decorating happens with the blue. All delicate and little tiny dashes. So I'm just scribbling. Push and shove and push and shove and go over there, paint. Now I can decorate. Who's still being slow and putting nice... To oh, question. Sergio has a question. I missed it. Say it again. Oh, her feet? She doesn't have any feet. You know where her feet are? This is her body way up here. Her feet are right in here somewhere. So they're underneath her tail. They have long skinny legs like a turkey. These are like fancy turkeys. So she can't see her because her tail covers up her feet. Okay, now I'm going to get my, my uh, blue and decorate and then I'm still trying to do tiny dashes even though doing bigger dashes is faster and I say this a lot because I am tempted to make giant dashes too because it starts to get weary because we already done this and our brain's like remember how our brain goes from I'm confused I don't get it to I think I understand it to bored that fast well here we are at the end and my brain's all I already know boring Gosh, brain. But that's how the human brain is. Because I already know how to do it. I'm bored. That's why kids that are fast in school and good at school get in trouble uh, too. Because they get bored. And they're like, I already know how to do it. Done. And you're like, but wait. The rest of us are still doing it. Boring. I'm already finished. And you're like, so hard to keep them, you know, doing other stuff. And then they think they're being punished because they get extra work or they have to read. And like, you're not being punished. It's just you're super fast in that subject. Not every subject. Because I was fast in some things and super slow in math. Math made me mad and made me want to cry. I don't like the times. Who has to do times tables right now? Is anyone doing that? Whether you have to do it in a minute. Or those sheets of the adding and subtracting. You have to do it in one minute. I don't like it. Made me so nervous. I am doing big feathers. I can't help it. Why am I making such big feathers? Maybe it's because it's at the end. I'm trying to make tiny feathers, but I can't. Okay, where does magenta go? Let's look. Everybody pause. Push pause. Okay, we're at the end. And we have some in the middle, right? Yeah. Oh, oh, so there's a couple. There's some at the very, very bottom. Some at the top. And then what? Okay, so there's just like four more pieces of, of the magenta. And then we go. Right? Okay. So I'm going I'm to clean my paintbrush and get magenta 
Everybody pause so you can see where I put them. Hold on, Celeste, let me show this real quick. Okay, so I'm gonna go, I'm a very big t turquoise part, whoosh, okay? And then I get more turquoise, magenta, and down here by the bottom. And then, which would leave this middle part completely empty. So I go, oh, okay, and oh, that's nothing. There, okay, whoosh. Okay, now I decorate, decorate with little pieces of magenta, when it, remember? Okay, I just wanna show you that there is three spots, the bottom, the middle, and down here towards the end of her tail. Okay, now Celeste, yes Celeste. Question? I'm gonna have to leave the meeting, but I'll do the rest of that home. Okay, just clean your paintbrush and put the lids on so don't let it dry out hard with paint in it. Clean this real good, okay? Thank you, Celeste. I'll see you in, see you next time. So now I'm gonna pick it up and drop it off and pick it up and drop it off and pick it up and drop it off and I'm trying to make a visible magenta. My favorite part. But look, I can't just leave this weird looking circle in the middle. No, I'm gonna rough up her edges and then when I start running out of paint is when she turns purple. <gasps> the best. So the magentas are right. I mean, because I put it there. But when I start to run out of magenta and she becomes like a, a fuzz of magenta, she becomes purple. Because blue is there. It's like magical. It's my favorite. And I just keep walking around and I touch the magenta like this. And I pick some up so I could put it somewhere else. So cute. Okay, now that I do my magenta, now I can do my little eyes. And I get it white. I think I don't know if it's dry yet. It look it looks like it's dry. I might have to put a little bit of turquoise in there, but we'll see. We'll see how wet it is. Nope. Not enough paint. Okay, now I'm gonna get some turquoise and make it look dirty white. Not enough paint. Okay, who's beating me? I look around. Mmm, Margarita's done. Sandra, I can't see him anymore. Tori's almost done. Sergio. Good job. Look at Lauren. Look at this. You're doing a good job with that purple accent-y thing. Giving your paintbrush permission to run out of, of magenta. So good. Okay, now I'm going to put the green in my, in my eyes. Side of my paintbrush. It's not for the edges, so less. Boom, chocolate. Now it's rest time. I'm gonna rest and root you on because I want more people to catch up a little bit. We're all like at a different stage right now. Some people are doing the little eyes. Some people are still coloring in the magenta, the, the magenta pieces. But remember how I make you chase me a little bit? Mostly it's because the paint's drying, right? And we're like, oh, you know, Matthew got done in uh, 15 minutes. So there, right? He didn't wait for nobody. But what does, what does my, my, everybody pause, look up. What does my tail have that your tail doesn't have? Look at these. Everybody pause and look up. I have the, doesn't this make the tail prettier? These are little swirls, right? But they're attached and then they come out. They, like a wave, I grab the feathers and push it up, right? I grab, so, oh, and curlies underneath. 
So is my ed my tail smooth? We're gonna ruin it. She's like, oh, but I did such a good job on my outline. Too bad. Because it looks better as a fluffy, fluffy tail with curls and stuff or waves. More like waves, not really curls. Sometimes I flip all the way over. Uh, usually it's an accident. Job, everybody. Okay, everybody pause and look up. I'm going to show you some of these curls because uh, some people are ready and they're just like standing around with their finger in their nose. So I just want to show you. doesn't matter where you're at. You're just doing perfect. I just want to show you a curl. Okay, so I, I may, remember when we did the little crown things, right? And we made them turquoise and then we would put a little whoosh of blue on them to decorate them. Same. See, look. I put them turquoise and I, atta I attach them way into the feathers. I go woo like that. Then whoosh. it's not just sticking out. I like grab a whole piece of uh, tail and then go. Whoosh, whoosh. And then how many sizes of feathers? Big, medium, small. Remember those uh, flowers I was telling you about? So itty bitty baby ones, big ones, medium ones. Itty bitty baby, 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 baby. Okay, little baby one. Okay. So I'll show you. I'm going to do like turquoise and then put blue on it. But I, and you go, oh, but it's ruining my tail. We're going to put blue on it. It'll blend. Okay, watch. So if it was coming down, stick down, I would go, whoosh, oh, and maybe like a little point here. And then maybe a baby one. And then a big, big. Okay, that's not enough paint. I'm a big, big, big big one okay <laughs> and then but look at how they're just little c's and how big are they i don't know different si size is it a little little ba baby 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 one baby 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 big 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 okay well that looks terrible right now because they don't even match so now i'm gonna get the blue and this is when i do the so everybody pause, look up, watch, wait, 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 watch. So now I'm going to try to let blue exist only in the middle of the turquoise. Whoosh. So I touch the tail, I'm in the tail, and then I push out. Whoosh. Whoosh. So I, I touch the tail, I'm in the tail, right? I'm in the tail, and then I whoosh, and pull it through. Whoosh. 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 And it's like a wah. And you're like, oh, it's such a different color than I had on there. Because it's wet. And wet paint is a different color than dry paint. And then everybody check. Make sure. Do I look at, oh, okay, everybody watch. Look what I did. Exact same size everything. Oh, that's why it looks, they look like spikes. That's, wait, everybody pause. There's, they have to, they're not different. Let me grab one and make her a curl. Make a medium, a, okay, there. Break, make them different. They were all the same size. That's why it looked funny. They look like spikes. So I went back and made, okay, this one can be medium. This one can be small. All right. I know better than that. Sure. And I still did it. Okay, whoosh, with my blue. Whew. Now I redecorate them. Whoosh, 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 whoosh. Okay. Pew, 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 pew. Who's got little spikes that are just like sticking up, all, all sticking straight up? Like, ow, don't poke me, feather. No, they, they go, I can go up and I can curl like a six, right? Or I could be Tana, or I could be big. So check them and go, yeah. And can they be just one color? No, 
after you paint them turquoise, you have to put the blue on them so they match your tail. Who's tempted to put a little bit of magenta in them? I think you could because our tail has magenta in it. So if you would like to decorate your curls with a little bit of magenta, you just go. Then how about the bottom? The bottom. So it's, look, everybody pause. It's smooth around the corner, and then when it's at the bottom, they start curling. They come apart, and I just go, oh, that was like a hook. I'm a big hook, then a small, small. Then, oh, go the opposite way? Are you crazy? Uh-oh, that's boring. Let me make some, let, let me make some little floofs. Along, so it's not so perfect. There, a little few little floofs. Okay. Well, that's just turquoise. Oh, that's not as cute. Let me put some blue on it so I can put some action. Whoosh. Whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. But I, I land in the tail with my blue and then pull it through. Whoosh. So it feels attached. Kind of like a twig. You know, you would you would attach it to the branch and not just let it like stick out. No, you attach. I want some, I want some magenta in mine. Who feels like they're getting gypped? The magenta was cute. I'm going to get some magenta and just put it in some of them. Oh, <gasps> are you just jealous of me right now? I put a little magenta in that one and it is adorable. I just put a little piece right there. But I didn't rub it in, right? Because that'll just be purple. But I go, oh, maybe this one. Maybe down here. Oh, cute. Oh, because the rest of the tail had the magenta. And I feel like these are looking boring in compared. Oh, that's fun. They had a little something, something. Cute, right? Doesn't it look better with some action texture on the fluffs, on the fluffy tail? And then use turquoise and blue. Otherwise, it won't match. And turquoise or, and magenta for some pretty, pretty. I think Luke did this part already because he's leaving. But now we get blue and very thick. Put a blob of blue, an eyeball in there, blob. And you're going to drop it off very gently. <gasps> there. There. Whoa, she tries to be too big. It goes in the middle. Blob, blob, blob. It's pretty, huh? Blob. I'm liking this better than the black. Oh, oh, oh. maybe I'm going to change it. Oh, that's cute right there. Because it looks so bold. Oh, good miss one. Blue. Now they have these little, and it's a blob. If you put not enough paint and you scribble it in, it's not blue enough. So it's kind of like a plop, a globule of blue, and you just let it. And don't cover up the green. We like the green. It's an eyeball. Look at my eye. There's the white part, the color part, and the black. So I have a white part, the color part, and then the the blue in the middle, right? Because these, that's why they call them eyes. So go like, oh, I'm gonna cover up. All of the green, no, it goes in the middle. Oh, you could use your fingerprint. That could be adorable. Little fingerprint dots. But see how we had to wait till green was dry and we put the blue on top. Otherwise the green and blue would have mixed together to make more turquoise. So now that green is dry, she rests on top. And she's going to dry way darker than that. That's what color she is while she's wet. But she's actually very, 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 very dark. See, look. Remember this original one? And then I put the blue on her. Look how much more dark she is now that she's dry. Even compared to the black one, she's actually darker. See that? She's actually darker. It's just a blob. 
Don't rub it in and try to make a smooth. It's just a little plop. plop. Good job, you guys. 